Hey guys, this is Eric Ramey here with Tian Lu, and uh, we're going to break down this, this technique. It's a body lock pass, a variation of it, into a slap mount, and then finishing with a smother choke from a double chest wrap. So, whenever we're looking to pass people's guards with a body lock pass, there's a couple things you need to be cognizant of. Number one is that I need some kind of waist exposure. So as long as my opponent's elbows are close to his knees and this waist is occupied, if I try to shoot for a body lock, it's gonna give my opponent essentially underhooks on me and then he can elevate me up and it becomes a real problem. So I wanna make sure that I clear the hands on at least one side when I shoot into a body lock. And then there's two additional things I need to concern myself with. Number one, my head positioning. If my head gets stuck in this U-shaped position anywhere between the armpits, through to the, the stomach muscle, all the way through to the other opposite side, I'm vulnerable to omoplatas, and triangles, and subjugation sweeps, and all kinds of stuff. So my goal is to keep it within this box right here, and ideally right into the jaw on either side where I can manipulate my opponent's head. The second major thing I gotta concern myself with is my knee right in my opponent's tailbone. If my knee starts drifting away from the tailbone, he can use his butterfly hooks and start moving me around. It can be a real problem. So let me give you an example of how things can go wrong. Here I am, I do the right thing, I start clearing some space somehow, and I get in on my opponent, but my head is in poor position, and my knee is away. As a result, he can do different things to me. Let's say he wants to sumigatious sweep me from right here. Uh-oh, I'm gonna go flying. Okay, just an example. And you can see how it kind of goes together in unison. If my head's out of position, my knee's gonna start to drift back too, all right? So it's two things to keep in mind. So watch as we do this through. I start here, I'm gonna look for a grip, a two on one grip. Now my opponent can't just stay with this because if he does, I can manipulate him, move around, and just start looking to pass. So of course, my opponent after I score this two on one is gonna pull back, and when he does, there's my window. I shoot in on my opponent, I'm gonna take a long arm, short arm, okay, around his lower lumbar, and my head goes right to my opponent's jaw. At the same time, my right knee, the side of the, of the lock with the long arm, is gonna go right to his tailbone. So if he tries to use that butterfly hook, it's rather weak. He tries to push me back and forward shift me, it's difficult because my head's right in his jaw. And now from here, I can start a sprawling action. So I start to look to get around and over his knee. Now I'm gonna take my head and briefly go to his far belt. The reason I'm going here is so I can pummel my butterfly hook in. Now he's still got a hook present right here and I can feel my knee drifting away. That's okay. I want him to start looking for this butterfly guard sweep. And as he does, I'm gonna change the nature of the sweep. His hook is on my hamstring. But I want to take it and force onto my quad so it's effectively nullified. As he starts to sweep me, turn, and it just gives me a slapping action. And now I have side control. Because I have this body lock, I don't want to give it up. I'm gonna take a near set underhook. This is gonna ensure that my opponent can't start stripping back the guard because he can't bring his elbow and his knee together. If it's not there, knee and elbow can meet and I can lose this. So I wanna make sure I'm up just like so. I bring my knee up and my knee to, the, to my opponent's hip. Now I switch so I have two underhooks. Now, when I look to mount my opponent, I go head to head and I stop in a three part sequence. I hook him at the hip, my knee goes down to the ground and make sure you do this correct. When we slap, we don't slap closer to our opponent's hip where he can catch my foot and then replace guard. Or I don't slap and just end right here because he can also catch my foot. So what I want to do is I slap, turning my hip out, and I slide my knee high. So if he tries to reach for my foot, it's nowhere to be found. Okay, so I'm going to go through that part just one more time. Here I am. I pass my opponent's guard. I've moved up to my double underhooks. Hook knee here and try to catch my foot impossible now i have these two underhooks so i want to keep this so i start climbing up in a curve as i fight i look to get elbow to elbow on my opponent i can do a rocking action just like so here it's safe to grapevine my legs or go cross ankles i want to search for my chest to be right on top of his nose and mouth right under the sternum right there okay my goal with this is to ensure that I cover his pathway completely as I push down and I curl my body in so I get my smother choke. Okay, there's many ways to get the smother choke and this is one of the best because it's harder for your opponent to defend when you have double chest wraps. If you enjoyed this video and you're hungry for more, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and to check out the website for more content and updates on the grand opening.